Yeah. Hollywood Brown gets traded. Takes takes one away from our from you guys' room. Mm-hmm. What kind of are your what, what's going through your mind when that happens? Um, you know, all respect due to him, and like, you know, I'm a missing to be my brother, but it was like it's my time. Um, you know, I feel like Baltimore drafted me for a reason. Uh, drafted me to be in this position, and for me, this like all I've been waiting on is the opportunity. Um, I know what I'm capable of. I feel like the Ravens organization know what I'm capable of, so I'm just excited to go out and finally show it, uh, show it to the fans, and especially to my teammates for sure. Well, for me, I'm sure to say it. You feel like you were better than guys getting I'm taken better than I'm better. I'm better than the receivers that were taken for me. Let me say, I think I'm better than the receivers that were taken for me. I'm putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven seven. Cutting. So y'all seen the intro? You seen the video yesterday with uh. Marlon Humphrey and Rashad Bateman, and just the whole in- interview, that was awesome. But the whole thing, you can see the confidence. You can see the swag. It's just, you can see Bateman has it. Like, he has that, I'm the number one wide receiver all like over him. He shows the confidence. He shows that leadership of that room. And I like the fact that he said he even reached out to other leaders, you know, um, throughout the organization just to kind of get some pointers and everything. And he also said, you know, some people such as like Lamar just lead as an example. They don't have to say anything. You just see what they're doing. Even more, he quoted Martin Humphrey doing that. Being the leader of the cornerbacks, he don't have to say anything. He just do it. And they see that, and he saw that. And also, he said he feel like he's that, you know, he's the better wide receiver than everybody that was picked in front of him. And we know that that was a deep wide receiver draft he was in and I know some people gonna be like man look at that. he was injured the year look what type of system he's in this year is gonna be his I think it's gonna be his coming out party uh with hopefully not you know obviously getting injured or anything like that but yes yeah see, I already got my my Bateman jersey you know what I'm saying I got the 12 but I know he switched to seven so yeah, I'm getting that seven jersey. Don't know what color yet, but um yeah, I'm planning on getting that. You know, layaway plan. But uh, I just I, I can't wait. I can't wait. I I feel like he's gonna he's gonna he 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 wanna he said he said he's like he's way he was waiting for that that moment of him being that number one wide receiver. Cause Hollywood obviously. Didn't want to be the number one wide receiver. He didn't like that attention. But Bateman, he's wanting that attention because that attention is going to let his other partners, James, Wallace, Dev, I don't know who else is going to make the team. Dev, Wallace, you know, Pro, all of them, they, they stay in. But even the undrafted people, they we don't know. Might could be Julio up in that mix but we don't know but that's just something to me that I love to see in our number one wide receiver is the confidence the swag just everything oozing I want to be great I love to see that now he just got to show it and I believe he will <laughs>